Low pressure and early warmth in September have brought flooding rains to some this weekend. A month's worth of rain fell in parts of the West Midlands on this slow moving weather front on Sunday, which is only slowly easing its way eastwards through the remainder of the night. So the heaviest rain does ease, the thunderstorms ease away as well, but there'll be misty low cloud and hill fog with this weather system in the east. Further west, the sky starts to clear and it will be chillier for Scotland and Northern Ireland in particular. And in fact, in these areas, it was chillier on Sunday as well. Still warm and muggy in the south and still with a lot of murky weather first thing on Monday, quite grey, quite damp on that weather front initially. But compared with Sunday for Wales, for northwest England, for the southwest of England, it's much drier picture, eastern Scotland as well. But the rain does roll back in to the west of Scotland, Northern Ireland later. And this cloud, murky low cloud, could just hang on in East Anglia and the southeast for much of the day. Where we see the sunshine, 17 or 18, but that's considerably down. And as we saw on Sunday, temperatures are lower anyway in the north now. And then that rain rushes eastwards as we go through Monday night on a developing area of low pressure. Actually got a sting, sting in its tails, I think, by the time we get to Tuesday. A fresher night in the south, despite quite a bit of cloud and quite a bit of breeze as well. We'll just notice it won't feel as close. But this weather system will slowly meander its way southwards and then behind it, we open the doors to this northwesterly airflow. Hence, it will feel chilly midweek and the northwesterly wind is a chilly direction at any time of year. So we will notice that, particularly Tuesday and Wednesday when the winds are strongest, lots of showers around, strong winds as well not just by day, but by night. By the end of the night, the end of the week, rather, we could have a touch of grass frost in the north. But that's the end of the week. However, from midweek onwards, these showers coming in thick and fast to Scotland could be a little bit wintry over the top of the Monroes. This rain just dragging its heels in the south. But a windier day for all of us. Gales possibly in the north and the east. And it's here where the rain hangs around and it could give some significant rainfall across the likes of Orkney and Shetland as well through Tuesday and into Wednesday. So although we'll see 12 to 18, I think those, those temperatures tempered by the strength of the wind, particularly so on Wednesday, it does look as if southern areas may see a ridge of high pressure building towards the end of the week. But we will firm up on the details as the time goes on. More online.